Shot. This is a big one. Uh, what are you ex as players expecting uh, in the US? Um, it's going to be a difficult one. Not really difficult, like a like a hurdle that we're not like able to cross, you know. But for me, it's huge, you know, like the first time being invited, like as an African team to an international tournament. So you know, like it brings nerves, but it brings excitement, you know, um, to learn also to compete at the highest level of football is also a privilege. And how important is that, uh, you just mentioned that uh, you're the first African team to go and play in that tournament. How important is that for Sundance Ladies? It's big, you know, like it shows that we are the best in Africa, you know, to be um, invited to a tournament of this capacity, I understand. So for us it's big, it gives us that confidence, you know, to also perform better. Um, with our local league because we can't compete at the highest level and lose um, local leagues. So what have you learned from uh, your first opponent, uh, Kansas City uh, current? What have you seen of them? In terms of tactics? Yeah. Um, tactically, I think they're good, you know. I don't want to be racist or anything, but white people, they like turn um, to play like football very simple you know compared to us but that's what I saw um, with them but I'm not really focused on um, opposition I'm just focused on what we do as a team and yeah and uh, going to play in that tournament uh, surely this is uh, big for not just South Africa but also for the continent uh, how what are you hoping to get out of it at the end of uh, the event well, the goal is to win, you know, um, the objective is always to dominate as Mamelodi Sundowns, that's what we do. And that's the mentality throughout the preparation and to just um, dominate um, internationally, like as we dominate um, Africa. I asked the question, this question that uh, there will be too many scouts there and uh, there's a danger of uh, players wanting to play for themselves instead of uh, for the team. As an individual, how would you fight against that and ensure that uh, the team comes first? Individually, um, you just focus on the team. You know, you can't play alone. Because if you play alone, the team suffers at the end of the day. So I think that's um, the mentality people need to, to keep. That we are here like as a team, you're not there as Tatolets also. You know, you're there as Mamelodi Sundowns. You have a bigger bigger like institution to represent not just yourself Tad, I mean, you touched on preparation and yes. i want to find out from you how has the preparation been looking from your side because we do know that also with your schedule do you include the videos how does it look like if you could give us an eye just behind the scenes it's a lot uh, um, the preparation is is heavy i don't want to lie it's, it's training, it's tactical sessions, it's technical sessions, it's, it's media conferences, it's shoots, it's adjusting to, to, to time zones, you know. Um, I think yesterday we slept at 3 a.m. in the morning so that we can like adjust our bodies um, to, to like international USA side. But now we have to train at 9 o'clock so you can see how, how hectic it has been. Yeah, maybe just talking about it as a, as a how much do you think um, the women's football, uh, how far has it come? Because uh, five years ago, these kind of things would not have been mentioned when it comes to women's football. Because how proud do I see women's football mm -hmm. making the stress that it's making now? Five years ago, I wouldn't even think that Sundowns going to a tournament like this is even possible. You know, so you can see that like women's football is going into a better um, place. I think we're in the right direction, in like internationally. But I think um, locally we still need, you know, to tweak a little bit. Yeah. But five years ago it was difficult. No one had salaries. You know, used to play football in bad conditions. But yeah, now everything is getting there. How difficult or easy is it the juggling uh, between the tournaments, uh, between the competitions? Uh, the Women's Cup, Hollywood Bats, and then there's also the Champions League later in the year. How easy is How it? How difficult or oh. easy is it? Oh, no, 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 you're not as challenging, you know. Literally, like, the body gets tired, I don't want to lie. You know, you're playing in and out, and you have to, like, it's different 
types of, of, of competition. You know, it's league. League is throughout the year. Um, CAF is towards the end of the year. We, we, we um, go to CAF where we didn't like even finish our league games. And now we're going to a tournament which is like plus minus 10 days, you know, and it's international. So we have to juggle all those things. For, so for me personally, it's quite challenging. And then Tato, last minute from my side, um, the Olympics have also been going on. I mean, if you've been sleeping at 3 a.m., I'm assuming you've been keeping an eye on it as well. Yes. What have you made of the ladies at the Olympics? The ladies in soccer or the ladies? Football. Yeah. Nigerian Zambia. Sure, I know they are representing us. As Africans, I think I'm really proud that... I think they, they just show in the world, you know, what Africans can do and our potential as um, Africans to compete at such high um, tournaments and high levels of competition. So for me, I think they're representing as well as a, like as a team. And I think for younger girls also coming up, you know, I think it's very important that they see people like Barbara Bandas and, you know, to, to, to just show that people like, listen, like it's possible, you know, you can also get here.